vision swimming, scenes of burning corpses making her mouth sweat. She sways and feels the urge to puke. Sean grabs her hand as the air is filled with chaos and that oddly sweet smell of gunpowder and sulfur. Her arm is jerked and she stumbles forward. He's screaming her name, starting to run. Flashing strobes of light blind her in slow motion as he leads her, scrambling down the hall. Sean shoulders in a door and Curtis slams it hard behind him, emptying the clip as he turns. She stands motionless in the center of a dimly lit room, surrounded by boxes. A ragged beam of light creeping through the only window. The crash of the door echoes through the fog in her head. A cacophony of ringing ears and rattling hinges jarred her out of the daze. What the fuck? What was that? Oh my god. Rod is dead. Holy shit. That was hell. We just saw hell. <sighs> Guys, if that was what I think it was, we've got some serious problems. She tosses the gun angrily onto a box stacked against the wall. And that thing is fucking useless. The box suddenly collapses into a silent, shuffling heap of petrified cardboard dust. A glint of gold on black leather grabs her attention, and she gently pulls a book from beneath the pile of crumbling decay. She slowly wipes the cover and... The Bible? What does this mean? She traces a finger across the lettering as her eyes swell with tears, memories of church pews and hymns. Her fingers flip the pages absently, counting back the years. She opens to a random page and reads aloud, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. The floor groans and trembles beneath her, and down the hall they hear an inhuman shriek. An eerie silence deadens the air. She looks at Sean and Curtis, they exchange shocked glances and turn back to her. She gently closes the Bible. What just happened? Is, is this for real? Arwen, did you feel that? The entire ground floor shook. I'm going to the next floor. I don't think they can hold them off much longer. Wait, I'm coming too. Arwen and Holsters with slight urgency seen the tips of her fingers. Let's go. About 30 yards away, I see Sean busting his way through the barricade holding Christie's hand. She looks mannequin like. Curtis slams the door behind him with heavy breaths. We can't stay here, he says. Rod. Where, where's Rod? Aaron asks. His daughter waits for an answer. She's given none. And begins to scream in a resounding voice, but Sean grabs and covers her mouth. I know how you feel, but now is not the time. We have to get the hell out of here. We pack up anything that won't slow us down and head towards the elevator. 